Hola chicos, and welcome back to another video. I'm Christian and I'm moving to Spain, and this is Chris in Spain. So, today I'm gonna talk about the healthcare in Spain, and also other countries, and compared to other countries, especially Denmark, because that's the one I know the most of, so it makes sense, I guess. But, let's get right into it. Uh, Spain's um, healthcare works uh, pretty much like this. It's uh, free to go to the hospital, and to the doctor. And how can it be free, you may ask, if you haven't heard about such a system before. But that's why, why, that's not why, that's because uh, you paid through the tax. And uh, we get back to that later, in more details, but uh, also Spain is a part of the EU, which is the, the European Union, if you don't know, not do at least. Um, which means that uh, if I, that live in Denmark, uh, which also is a part of the EU, go to Spain, I uh, get uh, free healthcare immediately. I don't need to do any paperwork, I just go to the hospital and can use it and whatever. Because all Europeans that is a part of the EU can use the hospitals in other countries that are a part of the EU. Even if the healthcare wasn't free in that country, uh, I will not have to pay because it's free in my country, so my country will just pay for me. Uh, but in Spain, it works pretty much like Denmark in the, the these kind of ways, at least because it's also free in Spain for Spaniards in Spain. So to get back to that, uh, Spain are actually a really change. I can't speak today. It's amazing. Spain is actually really transparent about how, um, how how the healthcare are paid. Like when you get your tax, you get a job in Spain and you get your pay, you can see on the paper that exactly this amount goes to the healthcare. Because it's kind of Spain has kind of split up tax. In Denmark, you just have a line that says tax and then a lot of money. And then after that not so much money anymore because that's what we get after pay tax but in Spain it, it's more like you have general tax and then you have uh, socially debt security debt, I think it means social security they call it uh, healthcare and other things I think um, and then they say the specific amount you are paying for that specific service so I don't know much about the tax system in Spain, but at least the healthcare part are really transparent because you can see actually how much you pay for the healthcare. And you can't do that in Denmark and many other countries, I think. So uh, that's really nice. And as you can hear, you get it when you get a job. So if you have a job in Spain, you have Spanish healthcare. It's pretty much like this. There is different circumstances and uh, like if you come from another country that's another part of the EU and, and have to do visa and all this uh, shit it can be really complicated and almost every single uh, situation is uh, well different um, so uh, this is how it generally works for native Spain well, yeah for native Spaniard and for uh, European uh, this is how it works so uh, yeah, you, you get a job, pay your taxes, and then you get social security, which is healthcare. And then you just go to hospitals, doctors, whatever, for free. Uh, I don't know a lot about the medicine in Spain, but uh, I have heard some stories about it's really cheap compared to countries like Denmark and other countries even too. Uh, so let's compare a bit. Because that's the difference between Spain and Denmark, or the biggest difference, I will say, because uh, hospitals are free in both countries if you pay your tax, and uh, doctors are free if you pay your tax, but the medicine is not free. So that's where the difference is uh, really shown, because in Denmark, medicine are exceptionally expensive. I believe we have the most expensive medicine in the world. 
Uh, and I'm talking about medicine and not other things that can cost money come according to healthcare. Like in the US, it can cost a lot of money just to fix your broken arm or something like that. That's where the real money are in the US. Where medicine is actually quite cheap in the US as of what I have heard. At least the most common medicine. There's probably also some medicine that's really expensive. But in Denmark, like, even the most common medicine is extremely expensive. So I know for a fact, or at least of for what I have seen of prices in the US that in Denmark medicine are way more expensive than, than the US. But again, hospitals are free, doctors are free, so all these more important things or what you will call it, uh, more most more more urgent things are free in Denmark or not free because we paid for the tax but it's like you have already paid you cannot not pay for it so it's like you can always go to hospital and to the doctor but medicine again is really expensive in Denmark and also more expensive than in Spain and Italy and I think all other countries in view everything every country I know of Denmark is, is more expensive, so we are probably the most expensive to medicine. Also, we have one of the most expensive tax system. We are we are we are fighting with friends about who can have the most expensive tax. We have had the most expensive tax for multiple years, but now friends has the most expensive tax, but and we are second. So, same shit. We are way up there. So you can kind of say that our healthcare is the most expensive because our taxes is the most expensive, and you. Well, our tax system is not transparent, so we, we never know how many money goes to healthcare. It could be 80%, it could be 1% of the money to the tax system that goes to healthcare. I think it's going to 1% because it's not that good, <laughs> I will say. Like, you know, when you get stuff for free and you are like, ah, oh, I get why it was free. <laughs> like, it feels like I think you get for free. That, that's how I feel about it. Daily self-care, it feels like a free system. Like in the US, it just works. Um, it's a uh, well, they can they can cure every single type of cancer. We can almost not cure any of them in Denmark. And if we can or try to, many people still dies. Uh, and. Uh, well, death also happens in other countries, but it's like we can't even cure many of them. So, so I guess all don't want to try. So uh, many people when they get cancer in Denmark, or not many people because cancer is really expensive to cure. So only the ones that really can't see any other way of living, I will call it, because it's not about money. Because you are like it's your life, so you you are. You are lending money from the bank, and uh, you you go over the cards limits and all this shit just to be alive. So I would more say is if people that really want to be alive and can see any other way of doing it, they they go out of Denmark and pay in uh, Germany or US uh, to get real cure for cancer. <clears throat> so it's like there's a lot of things we can do in Denmark, and also often. often the doctors just do things wrong. <laughs> I, I don't want to go into too much details, but it, they are often wrong. I would say 80% of the times I have known people go to a doctor, they, they get the wrong cure and it makes it worse. So <clears throat> it feels like a, a free system, I will say. Uh, so I don't know if it's worth it or not, but at least I have heard some good things about the Spanish doctors and I've been there once so I cannot say a lot uh, uh, but I will say they, they did their job and it was fast and effective and there was no problem with paperwork even though we were Danish and not Spanish of course it was just we went in got the cure we went out everything was fine we never looked back that's that's effectiveness in its call so uh, I have good experience with the Spanish healthcare <laughs> for now, but again, it's one experience, so don't count me on that one experience. Also tried it in Italy, not not saying it's same shit, but just saying I have tried 
outside Denmark before, and that was also fast and effective. So I, I generally have good experience with non-Danish healthcare, but again, I have like one experience from each country, so not really. So I can talk too much about. I have like hundreds of experiences in Denmark, so maybe that's why I have experienced things going wrong before. <clears throat> um, but again, the medicine in uh, Spain. I have not seen a lot of prices and have not needed it so much. I think I needed medicine once and it was surprisingly cheap. Uh, the same thing about Italy, even cheaper uh, actually. And uh, yeah, but enough about Italy. I've heard stories about uh, medicine being cheap in Spain, at least cheap compared to Denmark and many other countries. You can always discuss if it's cheap or not, should it be free, should it be expensive, who knows, it's a feeling you got, but at least the hospitals are free, doctors are free, the medicine are at least something you, yeah, it's, a, it's at least fair prices, I would say, so when you just need medicine sometime and that's just a third of the things you need, it's, it's not so bad, I, I would say. And again, it, it just works fast and effective. I've heard many good stories about it, not so many bad ones. So I believe most people think it's it working great, or at least uh, good enough. Um, and I guess most of the time it, it is it is working. So uh, that's that's nice. And again, it's very transparent, and you just have to get a job. You know when you have it or when you don't, and you know how many money you pay for it. And how and everything is transparent and I I really like systems that's transparent and that's what I hate about the Danish system the most is it's not transparent like not even people working with uh, the Danish tax system knows how it works nobody does sometimes people think that does uh, and other people also think they do and uh, then they speak to each other and not agree anyway so Nobody agrees on how it works in Denmark. Sometimes some people think they have cracked the code, but then another one knows something they don't. And then there's something that like, fits together and it's so complicated, impossible to know of. And they change it all the time and they make it so complicated they can figure it out themselves anyway. So I hate that. It, it's made to scam people, I would say, the system in Denmark. It, it's not transparent, it's the opposite. It made, it, it's over complicated to uh, make people don't care because it's too complicated to care about so people are just like take my money do your thing and i hate these kinds of systems i'm not saying that my the only one using that i think most tech system in the world are like that i don't know much about other tech systems but i have a feeling that's the feeling other people got from other countries that nobody likes tax but also many people love the idea of a tax system in general, like the idea that you pay every month and then other things become cheaper or free and when you need it you can do it easily. P people like this idea but nobody like their own tax system I, I think. That's the idea I got from hearing other people and talking to people from different countries. <coughs> so. Uh, Now back to the healthcare I will try. I think I have not much more to talk about anyway, but you have this um, blue card when you are part of the EU, or at least you can get it if you are part of the EU, and uh, you can use that in all the countries in the EU, and that's how you get the free healthcare. So you can also use that in Spain if you are there for a short period of time. Uh, or if you really have to move to Spain, and you stop paying taxes in Denmark, for example, then you will uh, lose your healthcare, and then you need to apply for the Spanish one. And again, that's quite easy to get a job. But if you don't get a job, you have to do it otherwise. They also have private healthcare in uh, Spain, but I would say it's just one big scam to lure in Americans because Americans only have private health insurance, uh, or they are at least used to know what they get and pay for it separately and whatever. 
So uh, the American are used to this system they have in Spain on the side of their real system. So I believe that the private health care in Spain are only made because Americans will find it um, uh, will 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 know will will see similarities between that and their own, so they will f find themselves more secure by choosing this kind of service. But I think it's plain though stupid because if you are able to get the normal healthcare in Spain, I would say it just works better because first thing is cheaper. Uh, second thing, you have more hospitals, doctors to choose from because you can choose all the public ones where with the private you have to go to a private one and maybe you have multiple locations, maybe you only have one. I'm not totally sure how it works because I'm not going too much into it, but you cannot use public necessarily. It maybe depends on the private healthcare. Maybe they are fine with you using public because maybe they can pay them to make you use it. But it will be a longer, more complicated route for the money to go anyway. So it will probably be more expensive on the way too. So that will be even more expensive than the other private healthcare where you can use every place. I think most private healthcare you cannot use all the hospitals available. So normal healthcare is just easier because everybody has it, so everybody knows how it works. You can go everywhere, basically, and it's you you can just go log in for free and so on. So I think it's it will be very better. So choose that at least if you can. Uh, most people should be able to do. I, I'm not sure about if you are outside Euro if you can get it and. If you don't have a job, how it works, if you can get it without a job, if you can even get a job, if you're outside you, all these things I don't know too much about, but know that it, it works pretty well, so you, you should get it, and uh, you can't have a job without having it, I have here at least, maybe in special circumstances again, if they don't want to give you, but if they want to give you, they give you automatically. It's not really your choice. You get it when you get a job. It's like in Denmark, when you pay your taxes, you get it. It's just more transparent in Spain because you know how much money goes to that exact healthcare service. So I feel that you can have a job without, it would be legal to have a job without getting social security on the payroll too. <clears throat> has to be on the contract, it has to be on the receipt to get or what do we call it <coughs> when you get your money paid every month you know whatever yeah <clears throat> so that's what i have to say about healthcare and this uh this this what what i'm trying to say i don't know this, this it, that's all i got today <laughs> i'm not speaking anymore so i should stop now <laughs> <coughs> when i get uh, my own healthcare <coughs> in spain get a job Mm, can see it for myself. I will maybe talk some. Talk, uh, I may make another video where I talk a little bit more about it, but that's only if I got some new information at that point in time. And until then, uh, like the video if you did, and uh, subscribe for more videos about my process of moving to Spain. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <coughs>